Howdy from Texas. This is Heath Hipple with Bugs Fishing. We're going to tie a beastie bug, and it is tied on the Bugs Redfish Jig Head. This is the, we're going to tie the New Penny version. Um, this is so a New Penny Jig Head right here. This is a quarter of an ounce, and uh, it's the, the head is in the vise, hook point down, and uh, so let's get started. We're going to be using uh, 210 denier thread, and we're going to start it. Give a good thread base. And we're going to take this all the way back. We're going to take it slightly down the bend. Do half, oops, do half hitch. Get it right there. All right. So we uh, now we're going to tie in some UV crystal flash. I tie this in at the mouth um, just to give it a little accent, just to give it a little flash. Um, and I'm going to grab two pieces. So two pieces of UV crystal flash. I'm going to fold them over themselves. Cut them, fold them again. So I'm going to tie these in right here. And I'm going to tie these all the way, all the way down to the, uh, the end of the thread wraps there, half hitch. Now, this is a zonker piece of rabbit strip. It's a hot orange color. I'm going to cut just a little, about a quarter of an inch piece. Quarter of an inch piece is all. Some extra fibers there. I'm going to throw those away. All right, so I'm going to tie this high down right there on the bottom. Um, right, my thread right there where the thread wraps are. I'm just going to leave a little a little bit of the hide there as you can see. And then I'm going to tie it. I'm going to do a little three turn whip finish knot there. Make sure it's make sure it's good and tight. Don't want that going anywhere. So this gives some accent rabbit and uh, accent flash there at the end and we don't have to wait to do it we can just do it right here I kind of like to trim that crystal flash you know slightly beyond the fibers of that uh, accent piece of rabbit okay so we've made a good knot right there and now we're gonna this one uses some crystal flash and neon rusty brown so we're gonna cut you know probably five inches or so, five inches or so. We're gonna tie it right on top of, and tie it right on top of that rabbit, that rabbit piece, that accent piece. And we're gonna leave it there. So that's crystal flash chenille, rusty brown. We're gonna tie that right there. It, it extends back this way. All right, so the claws, so the beastie bug is a crab imitation. The claws are going to be two one inch pieces of magnum rabbit strip, and this is black barred rust. And so when I was developing this pattern, I wanted the claws to be to be hair hair up when it was at rest. And so this is what I figured out. We're going to put a we're going to use tear mender, fabric and leather adhesive. We're going to put a drop on each claw right here and then we're going to fold it, fold it over itself. So I'm going to do that real quick and I'll show you, I'll show you what they look like. So I put a little drop right there. I'm going to use my uh, bodkin and I'm going to fold that over itself 
There we go. Fold that over itself, squeeze it really tight for a couple seconds. Okay, that's how that looks now. I'm gonna do that for the other one. Okay, so the drop right there at the end. Fold it over itself, and that some extra is coming out there. I put a little bit of extra uh, tear mender, but that's okay. So I've folded over itself, and you're about to see why we did that. All right, now we're going to tie in those claws. So if you notice, the thread is right behind the hide of that accent piece. And so we're going to tie in the claws right. Our thread wraps are going to be right behind that accent piece. So at this, I'm going to tighten those thread wraps down. I'm going to give like a three turn there. And I'm going to crank on that pretty good. And I'm going to kind of hold it in place as I do. So that's correct. Now we're going to go over here. We're going to tie in the other piece directly opposite, the other claw directly opposite the first one we just tied in. three turn right here and I'm gonna crank down on that and as I crank there's there's times where you want to make a, a really firm knot this is one of those times but as you're doing it you want to hold you want to hold stuff in place okay so there's one I'm gonna do another one because I don't want those claws I don't want those claws to move Okay, so you can see the hair is up, and that's why we put that uh, put that drop of tear mender on there. And on the bottom, the hide is down, so it's lighter on the bottom, darker on the top. Okay, so now I'm going to move the thread just past the claws, and then I'm going to pull the claws and the hairs back. And put some some light a couple of light thread wraps on them so two on each okay there's one there's the other and I'll show you why I'm going to do that in just a second so you're not going to put knots in these you're just gonna you're gonna kind of get them out of the way so this is why so we're gonna do we're gonna do two two wraps of thread right here on this side we're going to do a figure eight around the claws and we're going to do two wraps behind them so one there's one two all right now i'm going to flip it over i'm going to release those claws side I'm going to tie it off on the bottom so I'm going to make three three thread wraps then I'm going to cut that crystal flash chenille then I'm going to put thread wraps back over through it All right, 
So what that did, that gave it a little accent, some more accent flash at the head, but it gave me some good, um, it splayed the claws. Because we want, like, when this sits on the bottom, we want it to look like a crab in a defensive, like, claws out position. So, all right. So that's the bottom view. Claws are nice and splayed. And uh, now to the next part. The belly is going to be white, and it's a magnum piece. Um, all crabs are lighter on the belly, and so that's that's how we tie them here. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna tie it in both right here and right here. And this is this is what you do. You push that push those fibers back right there, and we're gonna tie that in high down right there. right in the middle and it's basically right right where those thread wraps are um, right where we tied off that crystal flash chenille and again I'm gonna make I'm gonna give it a three turn with finish knot I'm gonna crank that down pretty good I don't want it going anywhere I want this sucker to last and it will if you tie it like this. Okay, so we tie that in like that here towards the end. We're gonna pull it back and tie it in again and the belly fibers are going this way. So that's why we did that. All right, now, so that's on the bottom. On top, we're gonna tie in a zonker strip of rabbit that matches, it's the same color as the claw. So this is black barred rust again. And we're going to prep, prep the end piece right here by cutting it at an angle, which is going to make it easier to tie in. So here I'm going to push the fibers back like so, and I'm going to tie this in right on top opposite that white, that white belly piece. You can see that's tied in on top there, and I'm going to put uh, you know, a three turn in there so it doesn't go anywhere. Okay, so that's going to be our body. We're going to palmer. We've got the belly, and now we need the legs. And so for this one, um, orange tipped, this is a root beer color. I'm going to tear off three. Tear off three, and I'm going to cut, cut these ends. And I'm going to cut the legs in half. Okay. So I'm going to tie them in on each side. I'm going to even up the tips here. Tie them in on each side of the shank, right in here. And I'm tying them in where basically the, uh, move those hairs out of the way a little bit. The tips are kind of up against the head. I'm gonna go get something that this little hair clip right here, this comes in handy to get some of these, get some of these fibers out of the way to make it easier to tie in your legs. All right. So they're tied in on the side, on this side. There's some extra right here, and I'm just going to cut it, off, cut them off real quick. So those will eventually get in the way. So, and I brought them, I brought them almost up to the, that zonker piece on top. All right. And I'm gonna go on this side, I'm gonna do the same thing. 
even up the ends. I don't know if y'all can hear this. One of my kids is crying. <laughs> so I hope I hope they work it out. But if they don't, they'll be in here and we'll just have to work it out real quick. All right. So half hitch on those legs. So three legs on each side. Okay. Bring your thread all the way to the head. Let's see if I can clip those, those little ends right there. Get out. There we go. So, legs on each side. Now we're gonna pull the legs back. We're gonna put some thread wraps on there. We're gonna get those out of the way. And at this point, we're gonna release, release that little clip right here. And so, this zonker strip tied on top what we're gonna do we're gonna palmer it on this once on this side of the legs we're gonna release the legs we're gonna bring it through and we're gonna do it on this side of the legs also so the so the first time so that's once right here I guess that's one and a half since we're going to the bottom so then I'm gonna release the legs all right, so then as I bring it over here, pull these legs through. I'm gonna pull them towards me, kind of get them going the correct way, pull them towards me, right out the sides. And the same thing over here. This is where your rotary vise really comes in handy. Same over here. And I'm gonna end that right here on the bottom. I'm gonna separate the fibers on that zonker strip. All right, separate the fibers and then bring my thread through there and just tie off, tie off that zonker strip. Tie it off, I'm gonna cut it. I put three thread wraps through there so when I cut it, it didn't unravel. But now I'm gonna Really tie it down well. Give it a three turn. So that's not going anywhere. So we palmered that so we would have, give that body some width. And so here's where we're at. So the body has some width to it like a crab. The legs are going, you know, straight out the side this way and straight out the side this way. Okay, so we're gonna turn it back over here, and we're gonna we're getting close to the finish of this part right here. So we're gonna part these hairs right towards the middle, you know, as evenly, you know, evenly as, as we can, and we're gonna bring bring that belly piece towards the head and then we're going to separate the hairs of this belly piece with our fingers and we're going to go through there with thread on this side of the head One, two. I really don't want this coming out so I'm gonna go four times and then I'm gonna cut this, cut this pretty close. Okay, so now we have a good white belly. And so I'm gonna cover up that tag. I'm gonna give some good thread wraps there. Good thread wraps here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Crank down. And now I'm going to trim, trim these legs. Okay. 
I want to save some of that, uh, save some of the orange tips, but I'm going to cut off about half of the orange tips. I just think if cutting it lessens the chance of the, the legs fouling. And so here, so the legs are coming out the side. We have this body, you know, the body that matches the claws, gives it some width, and we have a white belly. So that's a good, that's a good crab imitation, good profile of a crab, great for redfish, um, anything else that eats a crab like this. Um, the final thing we're going to do, um, we're going to tie in weed guards, and then we're going to put the head cement on. All right, so do our weed guard. Let's give a, let's give a look at that real quick. So, you have the claws, you have that accent piece of rabbit right there, you've got the body, and uh, it's a good, it's a good crab profile. So 30 pound is what comes standard on a beastie bug. Uh, I don't have any 30 pound here. It's in the storage facility, so I'm going to tie in some 50. And I've actually been going up... Um, going up in the weed guards for these to just make it um because 30 is good for like grass and stuff but if you go up to 50 you can you can bring it through more stuff i don't think it hurts with the uh i don't think it hurts with hookup ratio and it'll make it more you know more snag resistant so we're going to do thread on the uh tell you what let's use this again let's get these legs out of the way we're gonna do thread on the uh, the jig part of the hook or the you know, right below the eye and I cut two pieces two pieces of that 50 pound uh, mason so So I'm going to put a few thread wraps there. I'm going to even them up. And I'm going to make some thread wraps up and down. Making sure they stay even just like that. And then I'm going to start with some knots to kind of hold them in place. But we're just going to get them. I'm going to do half hitches up and down, you know, bottom, middle, and then go to the top. And then I'm going to do some whip finish knots um, because this is pretty thick, uh, pretty thick weed guard. I don't want it to go anywhere. I want it to, to be durable and stay in place. And so I'm going to do a Quit finish there, and I'm gonna do one at the base, and uh, shouldn't go anywhere. All right, now I'm gonna put it more upright in the or yeah, upright in the vise here. There we go. Okay, so. I want it to, I want it to be like that, uh, you know, towards the hook point, and so I'm gonna bring it forward with my, uh, bring it forward with my fingers, and I'm gonna start making thread wraps. I'm gonna do a half hitch right here, and I'm gonna start making thread wraps um, to kind of hold it in place, and so I'm gonna get it going with my thumb, push down pretty good first. Because with 50 pound, you're gonna to have to make several, several thread wraps here to get it going in the right direction. And so I'm gonna do a few of these. I'll do a half hitch, and I'm gonna keep pushing and keep going.
I think I'm getting close here. So I'm gonna do a whip finish and I can I can do one more. Um, I'm just gonna check them to release those. And you kind of want, uh, so I'm gonna check them right here. You see how they, they line up with the hook point. And so that's what I want. And you'll see where they're at right here. Um, they always want to creep up this way a little bit. And so I want to get that a little bit lower before I do the final knot in the, the head cement. All right. So there's a good whip finish knot there. They're in the right place. I like that angle, so I'm going to cut that and then I'm going to use hard as hull head cement. Apply that to the thread wraps here. And at the head back over here. Bug. And like I said, this is this is a great crab profile for redfish. That's what it works best for. Bass, striped bass on the flats, you know, lots of stuff's been caught on it, but redfish, flounder. There it is. Hope you enjoyed learning how to tie the beastie bug. Now let's talk about how to fish it. Um so like everything tied on the redfish jig head, it will land hook point up. Um, it'll always land hook point up and it'll just sit there. And it's with, with the claws splayed out like that, the action from the legs and then the action from the, the rabbit, um, it will look alive just sitting on the bottom. This is a great lure to sight cast redfish with, um, even like if there's grass or on a sandy bottom. For my customers that that they they tell me, um, I don't make a cast until I see a redfish. This is the first thing that I recommend. And so if you have a mud or sand bottom, um, just let it sink. You know, put it put it close to the redfish's nose. Let it sink to the bottom, and then sometimes they'll pick it up right off the bottom. Sometimes you can just do a little twitch, and it'll kind of scoot along the bottom like that. It'll kick up a little puff of sand or mud looking like something is trying to escape. Um, and so, and sometimes those crabs are hiding in grass and redfish are digging in there. And so you can get it down in the grass and these weed guards will help, um, help keep grass off the hook. Um, but you can also just bump it along the bottom, you know, cast it into potholes. Um, but it's a great crab imitation. Redfish love it. Um, if you're sight casting for redfish, um, this is this is my first choice and so i hope uh like i said i hope you enjoyed learning how to tie it if you have any questions um put them in the comment section and uh, i hope you'll put one tie one and then put one in front of a redfish because i promise you'll like what happens catch you later